All right, guys, so what does every good trail rig need other than the obvious recovery equipment, off-road tires, skid plates, all that good stuff? What else does it need? Good communications. So what we're going to do today is um, mount a CB antenna onto the YJ. Um, I've decided to actually mount it here on the top of the tire carrier. Um, kind of the better of both all worlds, I guess. It gets it high. Uh, the antenna up higher than anywhere else on the body um, and it's drilling into the tire carrier instead of the body um, you know the bumper and the tire carrier those are things that you know can be replaced and modified and the body is something that, that I really don't want to have to try and deal with replacing a tub on this thing um, it's already got a lot of rust and everything else so I don't want to make issues any worse so what we're gonna do is uh, mark out the top of this so it's right dead in the center and then put our um, CB mount right up there with it and um, mount our antenna. Now this will be part of a series on installing CBs. Uh, I am no expert by any means on uh, HF communications or CB antennas whatever you want to call it like that um, but uh, I done some research I've installed a couple on my own vehicles and they work so um, if you have any suggestions or tips on something you've seen that I've done wrong or that I could do better, feel free to leave a comment. Um, always try to keep those comments constructive and um, good for the better of the people and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll be right back with you guys once I get this marked out. Alright, so this top mast of the tire carrier is about right at seven inches across so I went three and a half marked it and you never want to just do a dash with your um, markings you always want to do this kind of V so you know exactly where the mark is supposed to be at so I did a V here used um, magnetic square lined it up and then drew a line halfway all the way across so I knew where the middle line was all the way across and that's about two inches this way so right in the middle there is the one inch um, so what I'm going to do now is use the auto punch uh, like I've talked about in other videos and get that guy lined up right in the middle so I can get my pilot hole drilled and press it down I always like to do it twice just so I get a nice clean bump a little mark there and now we will start the drilling process you always want to start small small bits high speed and the bigger bits you go uh, you slow it down so it's good to have a drill that has multiple speeds and a torque collar so you can adjust all that um, and I'm gonna be going up to half inch so we'll uh, get that drilled out and get this baby installed and get the antenna on there and there we go got her mounted in nice tall classic whip style antenna um, so when we get to actually mounting the CB and tuning in everything these screws are what you use to actually adjust the length of this a little bit um, to get your fine tuning in we'll go over that and then inside your springs you always want to make sure that that cable uh, let's see if you can see it in there there's a cable in there that's your cable that carries your signal you always want to make sure that that's still intact and in decent shape which looks like it should be looks like it's still intact so we'll find out though um, when we finally get to hook up a CB I got this mounted here you got the adapter the isolator sleeve a lock nut and a washer and then the coupler for the cable down here um, I did use this great little tool, which you should try to pick one up if you're doing a lot of drilling and manufacturing for any reason. Um, it's this uh, deburring tool. You stick it in the hole and swing it around, and it kind of puts a little bit of a, I'm probably not saying it right, uh, chamfer, camphor on the edge, so it's not just a square edge, and it cleans up any of the extra punch-through material that's in there. Um, they're great if you're doing some quick fabrication like this where you're drilling holes just to mount something. Gets the um, mounting surface nice and clean so you don't have to take sit up there and file it down. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take this back off, but it's pretty much done. Um, I'm going to take it back off and paint it just so we don't get any rust because I did have to drill through here, cut up the powder coat and all that jazz. I'm going to paint it real quick. Um, 
I got the gas tank skid over there being worked on at the same time. So we'll hit this up with some paint, um, get it reinstalled after it dries, and then we'll keep going on this uh, series with the CB installs. So, catch you later.